First, we're going to check the accepted or failed transactions for the punches. Then we're going to go up, check the process poll transaction job to make sure that it is running and pushing the clock data down to the accepted or failed. Next, we're going to go through the steps of the unattended clock access, make sure that that job is pushing the data from the clock data manager down to the clock data, ready to be pushed over to accepted and failed. First, we want to check the accepted transactions. If your punches are not in the accepted transactions, you will want to check the failed transactions. If your punches are in the failed transactions, you'll need to correct them and resubmit them at the bottom. If you do not see your punches in the accepted or failed transactions, our next step will be to check to see if the process poll job has ran in your task scheduler. First, you'll want to run the job and scroll over and make sure there are no errors in the end result. If there are no errors and the job is completed successfully, our next step is to go over and open your SQL Management Studio, find your suite database, you'll want to new, run a new query, and you'll run this script. We want to check the clock data table, make sure there is nothing backed up. If there are no records, that means that the process poll job has ran successfully. If you do have data backed up in the table, that means there is a problem in the task scheduler job. Now we want to see if the unattended clock access job has ran successfully. You'll go into your task scheduler, find the unattended clock access. Once again, go over and check the last result to see if there are any errors and the job is completed successfully. We are going to check in the SQL Management Studio for the raw data of the time punches that come directly from the clock into the SQL Management Studio. First, you will run this script depending on which time clock you have. And let's look for the data. As you can see over here, the export status is one. That means that the unattended clock access has done the job and pushed the data over to the time and attendance. Now, if you have zero, that means the unattended is not working. So I'm gonna put a new punch on there, run the script again. And as you can see, there is a zero in the export status. That means that the unattended clock access file has not ran successfully. So I'm going to run the task, run the SQL script again. Now I have an export status of one which means the punch was pushed through successfully. Now the punch should have been pushed over to the clock data table waiting to be processed. Let's check the clock data table by running the script and there's our punch waiting to be processed. Now let's run the process poll job and go back and check the clock data table. And clock data should be emptied into accepted or failed transactions. If you do not see any punches in the SQL Management Studio, that means that the problem is pointing towards the time clocks themselves. And at this point, we'd like for you to give us a call 
or shoot us an email so that we can continue the troubleshooting. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.